In this month's newsletter for the Vale of Whitehorse, the Vale launches a new smartphone app to keep residents up to date about waste and recycling services. It's available free of charge from your app store right now. The BBC has recently highlighted the work of the Vale of Whitehorse in resettling six Syrian refugee families. This wouldn't have been possible without the amazing work of local churches and voluntary groups. The Better Housing, Better Health Service, funded by the Vale, helps people who are vulnerable to the effects of living in cold homes over the winter period. If you know someone uh, who is struggling to keep warm this winter, please contact the free helpline. Communities from Hinksy to Hendridge, Botley to Blueberry have benefited from over £107,000 in grants awarded by the Vale. The District Council also provides financial support for community festivals and events happening in the local area. For more information about all grants, please visit whitehorsedc.gov.uk slash grants. Oxfordshire has a new county-wide project to support people with diabetes into physical activity. There are currently more than 28,000 people registered as having diabetes in Oxfordshire and 2,200 are newly diagnosed each year. We can't guarantee that your electricity will never go off, but if it does, your local network operator will do what they can to make sure you have the support you need when you need it. You can join the Priority reg Services Register if you're dependent on electricity, have children under five, have a disability or communications need, or over 60 years old. Find out more at matthewbarber.co.uk and sign up for my monthly newsletter.